What's up, YouTube? Coach5515, back again with another video. So, tell you guys about another scary story. Well, I'm pretty sure some of you think it's scary, but all these stories, they're probably scary to, to some of, some of uh, you people. So, <clears throat> of course, I used to coach basketball and football, and um, we have several people that have coached with us throughout the years. Um, one of the coaches at the time, he he was, he's retired now. He used to be a, um, a, a state patrol. Uh, he used to be a DPS officer for Arizona, uh, Department of Public Safety. Um, so he used to patrol um, out you know, late at night and he used to come back late at night at times. And he was telling us one time, <clears throat> one of the stories, uh, we were on our way back from a game. He told us once, one time that, um, you know, he saw, well, of course he used to see things at night too. Um, being out, you know, DPS, being on the road all the time. He said he used to see all kinds of stuff. And one time he was telling us that um, he, he got off work, got home. Um, he lived in one of the uh, teacher housings here in Chin Lee. And he was telling us that he uh, he used to park his police unit um, at the end of one of the parking lots there, um, one of the empty spaces. Uh, his apartment was probably like halfway down a street. Um, and then like on probably like uh I'd say about three or four housings or apartments down he used to park at the end of the street and there was there was uh there was uh, open parking there and he said he parked he used to park in that spot all the time and at at where he parked at at the other end there's um apartments all the way all the way down also. Um from where he parked at so the road goes around the whole uh the whole complex it's like a you know it, it circles around it's like a square shape um there's streets that go in between there's probably like three or four four little streets and there's a uh, duplex duplex homes that um go back and forth all the way down those those uh those teacher housing and at one end is all nothing but storage <clears throat> it's all um storage uh units so it's all made of center block and you know steel doors and the whole row full of sh the, whole, the whole street is full of storage units that run all the way down and on one side of the storage unit it's a it, there's a small gate to where you know like um, people could walk through and you know get outside the complex and on the other side I believe it was um, um, fenced off. There was a chain link fence on that side. So there will be like uh, apartments here and then the storage units. And then there's a small corner. There's like a parking lot here, of course. And then at the corner of the, of the, the, um, the apartment was a chain link fence. And then another chain link fence that kind of like met up and I'm not sure if that if that was a gated if that was a gate or like opening to where you can you know walk through um to get outside the complex too on the east side and on the other side of the um the storage units there's 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 nothing out there just a few houses but you know the houses are probably further further away probably like a quarter mile or a half mile away <clears throat> so of course uh the 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 road is um the road is um uh, all lit up or actually the the teacher complex is all lit up um uh, street lights everywhere and um you know there's dogs everywhere so he said he parked his vehicle and he said um he was taking his his equipment out out of his uh out of his unit so he was taking his uh, laptop and you know his police bag with all his equipment you know he was just gathering all his equipment and he said all of a sudden the dogs started going crazy they started barking um 
in 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 the complex. He said he heard it down down uh, down the street to where that other uh, chain link fence was was at, and um, he said uh, the dogs all started going crazy over there, and then of course all of a sudden all the, the whole neighborhood started going crazy with all the dogs all barking all at once, and you know, and um, <clears throat> so. So he figured, you know, they're probably, you know, taking the stuff out. He said he was thinking to himself, you know, like, oh, maybe there's there's dogs down there, or maybe an animal came through. Maybe they're 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 um, barking at a cat. So so he he was taking the stuff out, and he was thinking that way, you know. And you know, uh, he said he closed his uh, trunk, and well, well, actually, his 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 um his hands were full. I remember him telling me, and then he put his bag down. He said he closed his trunk and. He turned around and picked up his bag. He said he looked straight down the um down the down the whole the whole area. He said um there's houses that are there are, of course there's apartments that face to that direction and the street is here and there's vehicles parked. The street is behind them and then the storage units. And he said the dogs were going crazy in that area, so he kind of peeked over to where he could, you know, kind kind of walk toward the middle of the street. But he stood to where the street light was it was it too um was it um shining, so he kind of snuck into the dark area of of the uh, parking lot, and he said he kind of peeked over and he said there was there was a yebiche standing way at the end, and. There was dogs barking at it, and he was just looking at the 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 um, the, the dogs. He said that Yebiche was the, the the main, not the main guy, but the one with the full headdress, you know, with all the full headdress, and you know, he was holding a bag, um, had his um, um, <clears throat> his uh, body painted white. And he said he looked like a Yebiche, and said he was just looking down there, and and and. You know, he's just, you know, monitoring him. And he wasn't scared or anything, I mean, you know, because he, he'd seen stuff like that before. And, you know, he, he thought it was odd that it was odd that that one was out in the middle of the night. And, you know, like, uh, so he was just watching it for a while and just monitoring what, what it was doing. And he said he, it was going crazy. So he was just looking, looking, looking. He said that thing just kept, or the, the Yebiche just kept looking at those dogs and dogs were all going crazy inside that yard of that, the apartment. So um, that, that, um, that was by the storage unit. And, and so he kind of, <clears throat> he kind of walked out to, to the edge um, of the parking lot, you know, where, where there was lit. So he kind of stood out there and he said that, that, um, that, the ABJ saw him and you know he the ABJ saw him and he took off back into that corner where that that chain link fence was at and that fence is probably about six feet maybe six to eight feet tall he said he heard that thing either like like um he ran through it or he went through that opening or he he crossed that that um that fence but that fence was making noise when he went through and he said all of a sudden <clears throat> within like maybe 30 seconds he said those dogs were all going crazy at those other houses further down the way so you know crazy story that that we were crazy story that he told us so um so that's it about that story so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing you know i appreciate you guys all um tuning in and clicking on on my stories and stuff so thank you for watching guys